Welcome to business math video number 58. Hey, this is just a short video before our next video or two videos ahead when we make an invoice. I just want to touch on terms that have to do with shipping. FOB, FOB destination, FOB shipping point. FOB means free on board. FOB destination and FOB shipping point are common terms you'll see on an invoice. If it says destination, it means the seller owns the goods and pays for the shipping. If it says shipping point, the buyer owns the goods and pays for the shipping. Now in the company I used to run, Gel Boomerangs, we manufactured boomerangs, and so we we used a lot of aircraft birch plywood, and we buy it from overseas manufacturers. And that wood would get uh, shipped over, and it would be FOB destination, which meant the whole time it was being shipped, the, the wood manufacturer company owned the wood. So if it was damaged, they would pay for it. They paid for the shipping. Here in the United States, I'd order things locally. It would say shipping point. So as soon as the company put the goods in the uh, mail or UPS or whatever, uh, it became the buyer's property. So for example, I bought uh, some paint equipment, and it came through the mail. Well, it said shipping point. So that meant that paint equipment, while it was being shipped, I owned it. If it was damaged, I had to pay for it. I also had to pay for the shipping. COD, cash on delivery. It means when the items arrive, you have to pay for them. FAS, free alongside. That means goods are delivered to the dock with all freight charges paid. Any remaining charges are paid by the buyer. So that meant if the wood came over, it was paid all the way uh, over on the boat. But as soon as the truck had to get it from the boat to the, the shop, then you had to pay for that. Now note, some businesses will record shipping on sales invoices, and some will not. Uh, shipping bill comes separately. In this uh, textbook, a lot of times they say, here's the shipping. And you later will see when we're calculating uh, total invoices, you have to separate the shipping costs often for calculations. Um, and some don't. Some just send the goods. So for example, I bought. Um, small quantities of woods in the United States and there was a trucking company called Mad Dog Trucking, right? And it had this big picture of a pit bull on the side and they would pull up there and uh, I would get the, the wood and the invoice or the bill of lading from the wood company. But Mad Dog Trucking would immediately hand me a bill and I had to pay cash on delivery for the shipping. Right? So sometimes you see shipping on the sales invoice, sometimes you don't. All right, next video we'll talk about a little bit about sales tax before we move on to uh, completing an invoice or creating one from scratch. All right, see you next video.